SP Balasubramaniam, one of India's most famous singers, is no more. Uh, the Hindu and other newspapers and uh, other social media sites, they're all talking about what a versatile singer he was. 40,000 songs across 16 languages and so on and so forth. And this morning I read something in the Hindu uh, which said S.P. Balasubramaniam perhaps song the sang, perhaps sang the finest love song ever in any Indian language. And that song was Kadal Rojave, a song which he sang in the year 1992 with uh, uh, A.R. Rehman uh, scoring the music, uh, with Vairamuthu writing these lines, poet Vairamuthu writing these lines. Let me quote from that song and millions of Indians and people world, all over the world have heard that song. But that song, those lines, from those lines spring a message, even as we are remembering the life and work of S.P. Balasubramaniam. Uh, Kadal Rojave. In one place it says, Kannukul Nidan, Kanniril Nidan, Kannudi Partal, Nenjukul Nidan, Yenanado, Yedanado, Sol, Sol. Basically, uh, if I were to put that in English, the boy is searching for a girl and and this girl he says uh, you are in my eyes you are in my tears and when I close my eyes all I see is you what happened to you where are you that reminded me of a famous Bible verse uh, where God of all creation comes down to this earth chooses a nation and calls that nation the apple of my eye you know it is as if god is looking at you and says kannukul nidan kanniril nidan kanmudi patal nenjukul nidan god loves you so much god loved israel so much god loved israel so much and you know what this truth that israel was the apple of god's eye is periodically repeated is as if you know Israel was a woman and God was the boy chasing that woman in love periodically repeated uh, we see that in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 10 the first time this imagery is used Deuteronomy 32 and verse 10 and then uh, that is during the formation of Israel that is before the that is during the formation of Israel and then this is again repeated uh, during the exilic period where Babylonians came and took Israel and they were in Babylonian captivity uh, because many of the Psalms were written during the exilic period in Psalm 17 and verse 8 so before exile in Deuteronomy 32 10 this imagery is used God says to Israel you're the apple of my eye and in Psalm 18, 17 and verse 8, during the exile, God says, you're the apple of my eye again. And then the post-exilic period, and after the people of Israel returned back to their promised land and started rebuilding the temple and started living back in the promised land. Again, in the post-exilic period, in Zechariah chapter 2 and verse 8, this imagery is repeated. God says to Israel, you're the apple of my eye. Today, God looks at you, you watching this broadcast and says, you're the apple of my eye. Don't you see how I love you, how I pursued you, you know, how, how I chase after you. And that is why the Bible says in Luke 19, 10, the Son of Man came to seek and save that which was lost. God came down in search of you. And God in flesh, Jesus came in search of you. He loved you so much. He went to the cross to die for you because you are the apple of his eye. That's the message of the Bible. What have you done? Have you responded to that love? Have you turned from sin and put your faith in him who died for you on the cross of Calvary, who shed his blood? And not only that, you know, we have a second responsibility. Not only do we understand that we are the apple of God's eye and we appreciate that love, we reciprocate that love by repenting from sin and putting our faith in Jesus. We also, after we started believing in Jesus and started living for him, 
the Bible says we must keep his teaching, the word of God, the Bible, as the apple of our eye. And that's something I read in Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 2. Proverbs chapter 7 verse 2. The, we must keep the commands of God as the apple of our eye. So if the God's word says, uh, has this teaching against porn watching. The thing that David did displeased the Lord. Second Samuel 11, 27. David watched the bath of Bathsheba. And that was a sin against God. David watched live porn and that, and that was displeasing to God. So because the law of God says that. Moved by my love for God. Who considers me as the apple of his eye. I must consider his commands and his word as the apple of my eye. And say no to porn watching. And we can extend this infinitely. So let the death of S.P. Balasubramaniam and the song Kadal Rojave remind us of something. You know, in that same song it says, Pawai illai Pawai, Tevai inna Tevai. Pawai illai Pawai, Tevai inna Tevai. Same song, Kadal uh, Rojave. What he says is, uh, the girl I'm looking for is not found and I don't have any other need. But you know what? That's the big mistake we make. We think that a girl that we, uh, the beautiful girl we are looking for, if only we'll find her, life will become meaningful. Or that bottle of alcohol will give us uh, meaning in life or, or purpose in life. Or that job in that top corporate company, maybe Facebook or Google or Amazon or whichever corporate company, will, that will give us purpose and meaning in life. Or that job or that big house by the beach will give us meaning and purpose in life. All these things will not give meaning and purpose in life. That's the message of the Bible book of Ecclesiastes. And especially chapter 2, if you read it, we understand that. Uh, so, when S.P. Bala Subramaniam sang, Pawe illai Pawe, Teve inna Teve. You know, you can find that Pawe, but still your Teve will remain. Life will never become meaningful unless and until we make a, have a relationship with the one below the sun. Life above the sun will have no meaning. Life below the sun will have no meaning. Life below the sun will have no meaning unless you and I have a relationship with the one above the sun. And who's above the sun? God. And that's the message of Ecclesiastes chapter 2. So I want to invite you right now as you're watching this broadcast to uh, uh, bow down your knee, close your eye and give your life to Jesus. He said, unless you repent, you too will perish. So kneel down and say, Jesus, I'm a sinner sinned against you in my attitude my action and coming to you in faith you died for me on the cross cleanse me right now and i'm coming home i'm coming back to you do that right now do that right now as you close your eyes in your own way right now and when you do that life will become meaningful and purposeful because jesus said because jesus said in john 10 10 i have come to give you life life to the full god bless you